Collective, all the homies, man. Everybody out here grinding. Guitars over guns. Shout out to my fam over there. Hey, that's it. Okay, so today is actually Low Key Wednesdays. We're here at Roots Collective Black House. We have a lot of different things at different events that go on here, but tonight is actually a night that I curated. And it's a night of creatives coming together. You got musicians, poets, singers, rappers, everybody that's in the city doing something, making differences is all out here. We out here. Um, I would say just really giving energy, giving all the energy that I can every time I have an opportunity. So just giving that energy and just having the band, we rock out and we take it to another level every time. Just hitting them frequencies and just turning up. I think that's what set me apart, that's what set me aside. If I could be known for a talent, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I just, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe singing, but I just want to be known for just being a, a real person at the end of the day, just being genuine and whatever I do and just being authentic. So whatever anybody chooses to pick, or know me for, I don't care. Just as long as it's real at the end of the day. That's all I do. It's collective minds coming together, and really what it is is, is it's timing and it's, it's, it's collective minds coming together. I'll say, I'll say that because I call most of these my homie. And everybody posted something, so everybody they're connected to is now coming to the hub, and then everybody to post something, so all the people come in. So it's just timing and then just energy. So I started in two, 2011 is when I got on the scene. 2011 is when I got on the scene. I was playing as in a house band called Third Party at the Vagabond, which closed down. A lot of the live music spots closed down down here, and that's what a lot of people don't know. There was a lot of stuff, and the money was getting messed up with stuff like that, too. So that's why I'm really taking this point to really show people the amount of talent that we have down here and then what we can do if we all come together and make sure that we on point. Exactly. If we do it together and can't nobody say nothing, like, oh, you got this band going here. Some bands are going to play for exposure. And now some people are like, oh, I don't, you know, it's cool. We got somebody to play for exposure. We don't, we don't need you. But now the, the bar is now set at a different level because they're playing for exposure. They don't care about how they sound. They don't care about how they sound either because they just want somebody in their spot. So it's just like, it's a two-edged sword. So it's, it's kind of, it was, it was bad. So I had to pull some cats aside. Like, you messing the money up for everybody. And you, that's something you can't have. So I'm bringing out my young music. I got some younger music. Oh, my dog King Mel just came in. My dog Aaron over there too. That's what I'm saying. We got the younger, the older, everybody coming in, bro. So yeah, come on, come on in here, man. This is this is Elio right here too. This is my guitarist right here. You got Aaron over here, my bassist. Come on through. Hey, Aaron. They're going to be rocking tonight too. I got my dog King Mel in the house too, man. Come on, man. 
he got his own brand and stuff too. That's what I'm saying. Everybody out here working, man, and that's really what it is. It's a community, dog. Like you don't understand how, how happy I am really to see my cats really out here. Like it really does something for me, dog. And it's just like this is what it's about for me. It's bigger than anything else. It's like you see the camaraderie of all these brothers coming together and working, and that's what my dog Zabo started to do too. He got a, um, a clothing line. He started is the village, and it takes a village to change. You know what I'm saying? Around, so it's not just one person. You understand? All failure is is expectation that wasn't met. And if you set expectations for yourself that you can't meet, whose fault is that? You know what I'm saying? So it's just, it don't mean set the bar low, it just mean do it. Don't set a bar, just go and do it. It's like, yeah, you can set a bar, it's like, oh, I wanna do this, but try to exceed that every time. But my thing is just, whatever you do, do it 100% and make it undeniable. That's my thing. Make it undeniable. If it's undeniable, can't nobody say nothing. If you like me, if you don't like me, you gonna be like, once that music is playing, you tapping your foot, you bobbing your head, I don't care if you like me or not. Oh, you vibing, it's undeniable. That's it. outside the church but we both like move in and out the church so it was like it was like one of them cool like experiences um just having a space for our people um having a space where we could call our own having a space where Munch could do his trapping and dead podcast and don't have to worry about going somewhere else and paying somebody else a venue fee or whatever he could do a home yeah. Um, for us having a space on Friday nights, we have kickback Fridays. Jay have will have low key Wednesdays. Somewhere where we could develop our vibes and what we what we stand for. What these dudes, I'm gonna tell y'all, I look up to these dudes. There's not a lot of people that I look up to. There's not a lot of people that, that, that means really a lot deserve, because I'm short. No, real talk. It's, it's not a lot of people that <laughs> yeah, deserve to stuff. You too sleep. Not bad. My dogs real talk. Like. They put a brother mentality. It's like, yo, we do this together. But either way, it's make it happen. So if anything I've seen these dudes do is they make it happen. They, you know, it don't matter what it is, you make it happen. And that's the same thing I had to develop. And I saw that hunger. I saw that fight. It's like, yo, it, it, no matter what, we're going to make it happen. We set out a dream. I'm going to get it. I'm going to make it happen. He gave me one of my first gigs doing the show. Paid my whole band and myself. I was like, oh, this is how I'm supposed to be. You feel me? But for real though, and made sure everybody was, was taken care of and that and that meant something to me. It was like, dang, okay, I look at this dude. And every time I asked him, so he said, bro, I'm just an Indian, bro. I stay out the way, I do my thing, and I stay out the way. I said, what does that mean? I said, what does that mean? But Indians, they had a village. Like my dog, he got the, the clothes line. I was like, take this camera, uh, someone look at the suit service. Flip it. Flip it just like that. Village. My dog, Zabo, had a line that came out with that called a village. And so he showed not only talking about it but being about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, he's the teacher, I'm pretty sure he told y'all a little bit about it. So I don't know if he told you, you know, got some of the top scores in the world. Uh, I, scholars. Scholars. You oh, yeah. too sleep, no, for real. But that's what I'm saying. Zabel ain't gonna say it, but Zabel was Don. <laughs> Zabel was a Don and he makes moves happen. No, real talk, bro, I mean that thing. But he, he don't, he, it's not in a way where people out here trapping on a different thing. It's like my dog got the trapping in their dead podcast, but it's more than, he said the trap is more, it's not a, it's not a building. Yeah. Trap is a mentality, it's yo, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna trap my dream, 
and it's gonna have to rock with me right now. And I'm making it a reality. So that's what they, these two gentlemen mean to me. And yo, they show me to make your dreams a reality. And go get it and do it every day. Period. Do you Straight up. Like, like, yeah. Okay. They from? I'm not even from Miami. You're not from Miami. Me too. Yeah, he not. He's from I'm Ohio. From I used to get it in Ohio. Yeah, I'm rooted. I'm rooted um, home. So I, I wore, I wore home to be better than it was when I got here. Mm -hmm. So I'm always about the village concept. Um, so not only as a teacher, but being in the community with groups, I want I want things to be better um, in the classroom. Um, educational on a citywide level. Um, our kids learning about their true history locally, state, and nationally. So I'm, I'm here for life, and that, that's my goal. So when I'm done, people could say, all right, Zabo, his whole goal was to make sure it was better for the next generation. And that's all I want to do. See what I'm saying? I don't got nothing else You shouldn't. You should. <laughs> There was a point in time where I was in love and I was like, anybody ever been in love? Oh, yeah. yeah. Person. He's like, I don't even know who you are anymore. Like, who are you? Why are you even here? Why are you in my 